Hi guys, here is a quick update video on our sodium batteries. Those are sodium energy batteries. Uh, we got them designed and delivered here to UK six months ago and they've been uh, tested for last six months. Those are 48 volt, 75 amp hour units. As you can see, there's five of them connected. Now together, they have around 14 kilowatt hours. Now, you would think that this should be a higher capacity but this is the quirk of those sodium batteries. Those guys operate in very high voltage range. They are very much more like lead acid batteries in that respect than your usual lithium or LFP batteries. Which means that those guys are actually rated from 28 volt all the way to 62 volt. Now, this is not a problem in itself, if not for the inverters, the mainstream inverters, they are not you know, well equipped to deal with this wide range. So we only have access to the capacity between 40 volt to 58 volt, which is what those guys here been utilizing. So we tested them originally just to have a discharge test with this simple 15 watt discharging uh, piercing inverter. After that, we moved on to uh, to this boy. This is MPPT, uh, 48 volt. This operated in my shed, disconnected from the grid with a couple of solars on the roof, uh, and it ran very well. It it basically powered my uh, a tumble dryer <laughs> so that will that worked well with those guys that was for the first two months then we moved to Grovat and this is SPA 3600 unit this was this was a this is just the charging you know like it's not a full hybrid inverter it actually was connected to another Omnic inverter for solar but it still worked with those batteries charge discharge them no problem at all as I had a new place and a much bigger inverter here that's a seven kilowatt Inverter tied to a 9 kilowatt solar system, south part of it, uh, west and some part of it east facing. And as you can see, those guys are now fully charged. So this is as far as the inverter can go to 58 volt. So they're running no issues at all. I'll be attaching some charts so you can see discharge and charge cycles of those guys. And uh, we are very happy with the way they operate. We are also actually learned from those and uh, the next model will be slightly different design and it will allow for more narrow voltage bands. So we will have, instead of 28, we'll have a 38 volt to 58 volt. So we expect with that, 90% of the capacity will be actually accessible for most, most uh, mainstream inverters like this Lux Power here. So yeah, that's the update on the sodium batteries. Six months now, no issues at all. Very happy with the purchase and uh, they're running well. So yeah, thumbs up.